the ways BSL facilitate communication. So here, you'll see some cases in point to what I said earlier. I'm discussing some scenarios where you'll see how useful BSL is. A loved one is deaf or hard of hearing. If a loved one is deaf or hard of hearing, would you skip on the opportunity of communicating with them if you had the chance? BSL can easily give you that chance. Since you're learning the language only for casual communication, it's not going to take that much time or effort to grasp a basic understanding of BSL. So it's an easy decision. Communicating with people with disabilities. People with disabilities, including autism, apraxia of speech, cerebral palsy, and Down syndrome, also need sign language to communicate. It's challenging for them to communicate through spoken languages. It's incredibly common for us to stumble upon people with these disabilities. In this kind of case, sign language can help us fill the communication gap that we would otherwise have. Communication in businesses, health and social care. Businesses are one of the most likely places where you will feel the need to know sign language to communicate with a client or a customer. Banks, restaurants, retail stores like clothing, drugs, grocery, and convenience stores see many people who communicate in sign language. The same goes for sectors like health and social care. You simply can't deny service to a person whose only means of communication is signs. First, it's a gross violation of human rights. Second, it's against the law in most countries, including the UK. So knowing sign language yourself or having an employee that can communicate in signs is immensely useful in these instances. Good communication makes people feel valued, cared for and puts them at ease. In today's world, transparency, better working environment, and a reputable client-slash-customer relationship are essential for a business or service of any kind to thrive.